What's up guys, Dennis Films here with another tutorial and today we're going over speed ramping. Now speed ramping is a very effective effect that I use across all my projects. That goes from music videos to commercials to tutorials to weddings. I always use speed ramping because it's a very subtle effect that you can add to your project and it works very well. It adds a little stylistic to, uh, to your project and it's just all around a great effect that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. But it turns out I've been doing it wrong for a good while and I actually found out through a previous video through comments, more than one person, of course, commented and let me know that I was doing it wrong. I was doing it janky, but that's okay. You know, that's okay. I went and learned the right way. And so today I'm gonna show you the right way to speed ramp. And I agree, it is a lot better way. So I'm gonna cue that intro real quick. Actually, no, we're not gonna cue the intro. The intro's old and I need a new one. So we're just gonna get straight in the video. Okay guys, now that we're in Premiere Pro, we're gonna go ahead and get started. So I got three clips lined up that we're gonna be using. I'm gonna play them real quick so you can see them without the speed ramp. So they're pretty boring when they transition, transition to each other. So let me bring this quality down a little bit so we can go through it a little bit better. All right. So the first thing is first, what you're gonna do is you wanna right click on your clip, go to show clip keyframes, time remapping, and then speed. Now I know on some computers, uh, sometimes mine does it too, is that it will only show three things, which is motion, opacity, and time remapping. You're still gonna click on time remapping and go to speed. Okay, now that we're in speed, you're gonna hit P on your keyboard, and we're just gonna go ahead and mark where we want to, the speed ramp to happen. So I want it to happen in the beginning and the end. And we're gonna to go to the scroll bar to your right, drag it up so we can see the clips better. And then you're gonna hit V on your keyboard or A if you use a Mac. Uh, I believe that brings you back to the cursor. And we're just gonna drag the beginning before that little cut is. We're gonna drag it up to speed it up or drag it down to slow it down. So I'm gonna go all the way to a thousand. I'm gonna make this really fast. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm still V on my keyboard. I'm gonna drag these little markers out. Now this, I don't know really how to describe this, but this is where it's gonna make the transition smoother from the speed ramp. So here's what it looks like without smoothing it out as far as making it transition not so abrupt. So this is the abrupt. As you can see, it's kinda boom. Look at her hand. It's kind of abrupt speed ramp. I'm gonna drag it out just a little bit. Still abrupt. So what we wanna do is we wanna take those handlebars. Now to get back to the handlebars, you're gonna click on the little marker. It's gonna pop up right in the center. And what you wanna do is turn it left. And that's gonna smooth it out. As you can see how the, like almost like a graph, it smooths out, boom. And you can look at her hand and it's just much smoother. I might drag it out just a little bit more, make it last longer, there we go. And then boom. So now we're gonna go to the end clip. You're still using your cursor. You're gonna drag the end clip all the way up. Like I said, I'm going to 1000 or 900 or whatever because I want it fast. So now we're gonna take this marker, drag it out again. Oh. See, drag the marker. There we go. Now we got it out. Drag it a little bit more. Cause this is gonna dictate the markers, they dictate where it ends, where it begins and stops. So now that we got it to where I want it, I'm gonna take it, click on the blue marker, and then we're gonna take these handlebars and then we're just gonna make it smooth. So we moved it right. Now let me take my next clip and let's see how it transitions now. Much better, much smoother. What I might do on the end of this clip is extend it some more, but I'm gonna extend the end more. There we go. So boom. But what makes speed ramping so much better is when you take a clip, you speed ramp it at the end and then take the next clip and speed ramp it in the beginning. So that's exactly what we're about to do right now. So we're gonna take this clip, we're gonna hit right click, go to show clip keyframes, time remapping, and then speed. We're gonna hit P on our keyboard as the pen tool, and we're gonna click where we want it to start, 
end end. So you're gonna go back to V on your keyboard, drag it all the way up or down, depending on what you want. And see, we're gonna take these markers, drag them out as well. So I'll kind of want it even with the original speed ramp at the end of the other clip. So it transitions smooth. So now, now we took the handlebars and then we dragged it left. Let's see what it looks like now from the beginning. Boom. And as you can tell, it's way more effective when you go from one clip to the next of speed ramping. So now we're just gonna take, do the same thing to the end clip as we did in the beginning. So it will speed ramp out, take the marker, drag it, oops, wrong way. I'm messing up a little bit. Drag it right, click on the marker, take the handlebars and do the same thing. And we're gonna do this for the third clip. So I'm gonna run through the third clip real quick. Right click, show key, clip keyframes, time remapping, speed, boom, P on your pen tool, beginning and end. Now you don't have to put it on the end or beginning. You can choose whichever one if you don't wanna do both, depending on your project. And then we're gonna hit V on our keyboard, bring it all the way up, because that's where I want it. All the way up, boom, drag this right. Let's see, so the speed, let's see what it looks like when the actual, there we go, now it's matched. Now hit the markers, take the handlebars, smooth it out left. And let's see, and we're gonna do the same thing for this. Boom, smooth out. And let's check out the whole sequence together. Boom, boom. So smooth, and then if you add a sound effect, add a little sound design, a little So guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Speed is a very effective and easy effect that you can add to any of your projects. But if you like this video, please hit that like button so more people can see it and this can help more people. And that subscribe button if you wanna see future videos or past videos. I got a good bit of tutorials. It's a lot of old, but working on some new content. Also, I just released a distortion pack and I also have LUTs in my store. Link in the description, you can check that out. Guys, have a great day. Keep creating dope shit and I'll see you in the next one. Later.